You know, when I measure risk on behalf of, of the nation, you know, the Secretary of Defense, on behalf of the nation, my job is to assess risk. And the way we assess risk is on the likelihood of occurrence and on the consequence. So there are some things, let's take nuclear, a nuclear exchange. A nuclear exchange, the consequence is just unthinkable. The likelihood is fairly low. Um, and then there are things that are high likelihood, like a terrorist attack. But the consequence tends to be manageable, albeit horrific for those you know, right at the moment. But in terms of the threat to the nation, you know, a, a terrorist attack would be a highly likely uh, but relatively modest consequence, depending on what it was. But anyway, that's the calculus. So let me put cyber into that mix. So you said, are there any things that, that are kind of unknown, potentially um, silent? The black swan, if you know the book, The Black Swan. Cyber, cyber is the black swan. I mean, because we don't know exactly what capabilities exist out there. And so, but we do know our vulnerability. Uh, and so cyber is the, is the threat that concerns me the most uh, both because we're not entirely sure whether nation states, independent actors. I mean, you know that you know the you know a, a one. Ma you remember the great train robbery that we used to read about the great train robbery in the 19th century. You know, you'd read about the great, or there was a movie about it. You know, it was two guys robbing a train that had a hundred people on it. You know, how could that happen? How did two people rob a hundred people? Well, you know, cyber, one guy with a laptop can rob 100,000 people at the blink of an eye. I mean, that's the power out there. And we're vulnerable. And so cyber, for me, is the black swan. And, uh, we're, you know, as I said, we're pushing and, and, uh, and trying to both understand it better, be part of a whole-of-government approach to it. But if you're asking me which of the unknown threats worry me the most, cyber.